<laughs> Just bear with me, sorry. Don't don't feel sorry for me because I've been very lucky. Um, I haven't, I haven't cried yet and I knew you blokes would get me, so <coughs> I'll compose myself in a second. <sighs> All right. Um, yeah, look, I've um, tried to get myself right to um, you know, run out with you boys again, but... I'm not sure it's going to get any better, so don't think. <laughs> um, I've tried to get myself right um, to have one last crack, but um, I've tried everything, and um, it's just not going to happen for me. Um, oh yeah, uh, I've, I've loved the journey I've had, um, but it's time for me to um, pull the pull the pin um, at the footy club. Um, it's been something I've loved and cherished for 15 years of my life. Um, couldn't, couldn't have dreamed when Johnny Beveridge plucked me out of Eagle Orchid pick 58 in the rookie draft that I would have um, ended up playing for so long and being um, captain of the footy club. So um, I've been very lucky, played with some bloody good people, good players and met some wonderful people along the, along the journey. I won't thank everyone because I'll <coughs> certainly miss people um, and I, I won't do that. I'll, I'll do that at the right, right time and later down the track. But um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's, I've, I've had not had a lot of time to reflect on. It's been something that sort of hit me between the eyes quite quickly. Um, but um, look, I, I will I will say a few, a few thank yous, and um, obviously to you boys and all the players that I've played with over the years have made uh, this place so special to me. Um, love love this group. You guys are a special group, and I've played with some special groups. But you're bloody really connected. You're really tight, and um, you know you make a 35 year old. 34-year-old old man feel quite special at times, so thank you for that. Um, and and I know you're gonna, I know you're gonna succeed um, sooner rather than later if you just keep digging in and keep doing what you're doing. Um, to my family who aren't here, um, mum and dad, and my uh, four brothers and sister, um, you know they've clearly been a part of my journey for a long time. From being a country, country boy and driving around all parts of Victoria and sacrificing so much to mum and dad basically didn't miss too many games um, over the last you know 15 years apart from I don't think they've seen me play since 2018 which is which is a long time ago so um, they're a bit flat about that a bit flat that it's ending for me like this they would have loved to see me play again um, and and clearly um, I want to thank Emma um, yeah, thanks for persisting and um, reluctantly pursuing me early on and um, I, rel <laughs> I, I caved in but I'm glad you persisted because um, <laughs> You're, a, you know, you're a beautiful mother um, to our two beautiful children, um, Freddie and Harriet. So thank you for um, being a part of the journey for so long. You've um, haven't got much sympathy, but you've certainly sat next to me and um, soothed some of my uh, issues over the years, whether it be mental or physical, which I've had a lot of. Um, and I, I really do thank you. I probably don't say that enough. And I know I've frustrated you at times, and I'll continue to do that. I, I, I think, but um, I appreciate you standing by me and. Yeah, you pursuing me all those years ago is something I'm quite thankful for. Um, yeah, it's hard. I mean, I, I planned to to say I didn't really know what I was going to say because I knew I was going to cry, and that, that certainly certainly happened. But um, you know, I was just reflecting on um, you know my career and, and what I wanted to get out of it. Um, you know, I certainly would have loved more success. Um, you know, from for the footy club for our fans, I think they deserve it. But um, you know, sitting down and thinking about what I I've wanted to achieve, particularly over the last, you know, 10 to 12 years of my career. Is I just wanted to be um, someone that was trusted. I just wanted to, you, you know, every time I ran out with a group of players, I wanted them to know what they were going to get from me. I wanted them to... Um, just, just know I was going to give um, <coughs> great effort and play my role. And I just wanted them to be able to trust me, and that's all I want for you guys, to be able to run out um, and be able to look the guy next to you and know that you can trust him and trust each other. So um, keep building that trust. And like I said, um, I'll thank everyone at the right time, but um, I've been very blessed to have played for this club. Um, we certainly haven't had the success I would have liked and others would have liked, but it's a bloody good club. It's been a lot of great people, um, met a lot of great people, got a lot of great friends.
um, I'll, I'll miss it. Um, lucky enough that they'll keep you around at least for the next you know, period of time, six, six to eight weeks to support you guys and, and help you along the next phase of this season and hopefully you can continue to climb and give yourselves an opportunity to play in September, which I wouldn't want to leave and not be a part of. So I'm hoping that's the case. I get to cheer you on now and, and help you um, help you get there, hopefully, in an off-field capacity. But for now, I'm done as a player. Um, so it's going to be a lonely WhatsApp group, son, because you and me are the only one who talk on there. <laughs> um, so hopefully you guys can start giving Skunk a bit of a chop out because it's been pretty lonely in there the last few weeks when we've been trying to get you boys going. But um, no, thank you all. Uh, thank you for you all for coming today. Um, I'll, I'll um, endeavour to get around to all of you and thank you in my own way. Um, and thanks for Rats for your support, particularly over the last few years. You've been bloody good. Um, all the boys love you and um, you certainly treated me the right way. Thanks, mate. 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 Thanks